So through all of our um, advanced data use, we're able to achieve results that are roughly three to five times higher than those of traditional ways of working. Think about how David and I work together. David, I would say, leads more of the insights, and then I help channel those insights into activation. So as um, David was able to collect the data, enrich the data, and analyze or model the data, um, then I could become the conduit to help us figure out how do we advance the way that we're activating our media, measuring our media, and then making optimizations on it. There's a whole bunch of, of structuring that you need to do to make sure that that, that data is conducive towards analytics. So um, that is really the most challenging part. Um, is getting all of the infrastructure in place. Because then with digital properties as well, you're getting clickstream data in there too. So you've got to find a way of tying all of your transactional data. You have to tie all of your engagement data to really build out this whole 360 degree view of the customer. When you think about people that might be like me that might not be able to um, write out a SQL code and pull a list of first party customers to activate against, um, that also presents a challenge. So one thing that we've worked with you guys to do is build a list cutter tool. So it's a way for somebody like me or our agency partners to really go in and easily pull out the segment that they want so that we can activate against that segment. So it's a way to take the business knowledge and then apply it to the data without necessarily having to have all the background. A, a data scientist like me could go in, get all the attributes that I need about my customers, whether it's transactional data, whether it's engagement data, whether it's third-party data, um, things like that, consolidated in one place so that I could start my modeling. Then once I do that, there's, st there's things that I could gradually start to automate. So I can automate some reporting that people like Emma and other folks on our marketing team can then go and, uh, and leverage. And then meanwhile, while they're absorbing the insights from the reports, we're continuing to churn out models that are better understanding customers' propensities to to transact or behave in, in certain ways. Set up an experimental design so that we could say, of these models that David built, if we then give messaging that's more relevant to those, so say you're a chicken person, can we give the chicken people a chicken message rather than a burger message? So we set up the test so that one group, our control group, could get an even rotation of all of our messaging, and then our test groups had chicken gets chicken, burger gets burger, or something like that. Um, and what we did see was that the results were three to five times stronger with our test group than our control. So we have proof that that's working. We did that in a small piece of our media. So now we can extrapolate it to other areas. Big users of the of the Civis platform, as, as, as Dan knows, and um, we've given access to the Civis platform uh, to not just folks in our organization, but people more broadly, um, including our agency partners. So. Um, the great thing about that is we're all working off the same script. None of us are, are really deviating and doing our own thing. We have a single source of truth for our data. We have a single source of truth for our, our segmentation. Um, and, and granted, that changes over time. But we're always looking at the same segments. We're always looking at the same data. We are always accessing the, um, the, the latest analysis that we've done within the platform. So that's really helped in... Um, kind of being that guiding unifying force across all stakeholders to unite behind more data-driven marketing. Our president um, is an avid Tableau user, uh, so we're very, we're very, very lucky in that regard. Um, so we, you know, we have reports that we generate up to that level. We have reports that we generate up to our officer, who's the chief marketing officer. Um, but your president but, uses Tableau. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, on, on, his, on his phone, too. The biggest project on my horizon that I'm super excited about that I'm working with you guys on is um, right now, as we measure our media, our key KPI is really tied around um, behavioral location data. Um, and what we're working to understand is, additionally, we're marketers, so we want to change perception as, as well as change behavior. So how do we understand our changes in attitudes, the changes in behavior, and how do they correlate to one another and work together? Find your advocates. Get people on board. Personal, personalization drives impact. As personal as you can get, as relevant as you can get, the more efficient you get.